Hey guys, welcome back again to Fire Alarms and such, and today we're going to be doing a review of my EST Dual Action Key Reset Sega. Uh, this uh, pole station is a four-wire uh, pigtail connection conventional pole station. This one happens to be licensed under KIDA and not Edward Signaling Technology. Uh, but it's, it's a very nice pole station. Mine was new in box. It came with some mounting hardware two glass brake rods and if you see one of them has that black dot on it is because that is the one I'm saving to use on my life safety pull station because these brake rods also fit that so it comes with two and I want to put one in the pull station and one in the uh, Mercom one and also in the box it came with uh, two uh, reset keys these ones are EST cat 45 keys and on these keys, they're etched into fire alarms, so if like, you're the custodian of the building and you have the key, uh, you can find it easier because it actually says fire alarm on the key. So if we begin and just do a general overview of the pole station, it's a very nice looking pole station. Uh, so just on the front, you see you have your lift and then pole for fire, and the kit of branding on the bottom, and it's kind of reflective. And it's all plastic all around except for the back. And on the back, it's just a simple metal back plate, fits on a single gang. Uh, four wires, uh, so it can be tied into a chain. They are pigtail connections. And not not a whole lot happening on the back, bottom, the side. This side is where the key reset is. And the top is where, if I didn't get a key reset, this is where you reset it with a screwdriver. Uh, so if we actually get to pulling it, I really like uh, the way that this works, is you have to lift, lift this top flap before you can get to the bottom. So if there's a fire and you need to pull it, you lift the handle and then pull this. And uh, this will kind of fall back down or it will stay open it. It depends, but if this doesn't have a brake rod in it, this is so ridiculously easy to pull. Like, you'll see in some of my tests where I'll just be talking about it, and I'll, like, bump it, and I'll accidentally pull it. Uh, the switch is very easy to pull. And uh, to open it, you're going to take your uh, fire alarm key, put it in, and turn, and then just open. And to, this is a very much a manual reset station. You just flip the switch back down to normal. See, it says normal. And then you close it up. And then inside there's just instructions on how to test it, which it basically just says open up the station, remove the brake rod, close the station, and pull it. And uh, over here is just some warning and uh, other instructions. But so the brake rod, you can kind of see it says uh, glass rod right there. You put it in right in this ridge, so when you go to pull it, the ridge moves back, and that's what actually breaks the brake rod. So when you want to go to reset this, you switch, to switch down to normal, and then you go to close the pull station, but not all the way. And then you lift up the top flap, push in the bottom, and close the top again. And then you can close and lock, and then you reset to ready and lift and pull. So this pull station is kind of a hassle to uh, reset. It's not as simple as like the simplex or something where everything just bounces back up. You gotta flip the switch. It's kind of hard to do uh, while it's not on the board. Close, close, close. And if you want to go to test the station, you can either, if there's no brake rod, just pull it or open it up. Take out the brake rod, close it, and pull, or just open it up and hit the switch. And then when you're done, you just push it back down. So that's basically my general overview of the EST Sega Pull Station. And I say that we go and put it up on the board, and we'll hook it up to some alarms, and we'll try it then. So let's go. So 
so I think it's time to test it. So we'll get the uh, Cat 45 fire alarm key ready on my key ring. And so to pull this, like I already mentioned, you lift this and then you pull the tab. And I really like that feature because it's like almost having an SDI stopper over it where it's like you have to actually get into the alarm instead of just it all being like, like right there. So without further ado, let's pull it in three, two, one. Lift and pull. And then to reset it, you put your key in, turn, and turn off the switch. So once you turned off the switch, uh, you have to then go back up to the front face where you actually close lock it back up and reset it there. So you lift the front, push the bottom in, close the top, and then you can close the whole pole station. So uh, I'll do that again because uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird. So if this was cold, it would just kind of sit like this. Sometimes this sits up, but most likely, most likely not. You then put your key in, open it, turn off the switch. It won't reset by just doing that. It gets stuck. So you actually have to go in and reset the switch, bring it back up, open the top, close the bottom, close the top. And then close the lock. So you got to reset just about every aspect to this pull station, which is kind of a hassle, but I still think it's a really cool looking pull station. I really like this added. You have to open this to get into everything. So if we rearm the board, I'll show you how to test it. You can test it in one of three ways. You can just pull the pull station. You can open it up, take out the brake rod, close it back up, pull it open it back up, reset it, put the brake rod in, and close it is how that's what the instructions recommend. Or you can just open it up, flip the switch, turn the switch off, and close it. That's the method I'm going to be doing. It's a lot easier and if you have a brake rod in there you're not breaking it. But this works even if you do have a brake rod in it. So you put your key in and you open it. And then you can just go right to the switch and flip it in three, two, one.